But for, for practicing, I think uh, we always think of warming up, but we very seldom think of warming down. <laughs> because we use, we use certain muscles when we play more than others. And uh, to, for example, do some very you know, soft stretching after we, after we have practiced, if we have uh, played physically demanding pieces. It's quite important too, I think. Actually, it's, it's very important, I think. Because if you practice like long or hard, your muscles get actually shorter, so you have to stretch them out again. Mm. And I also think it's really good uh, what you said, that uh, quite many people think about this warming up only as a purely phys physical matter. But it's uh, really, as you know, very depending on, upon psychological stuff. I'm sure you s and sometimes notice that it sometimes gets, uh, takes a very long time to get warm, and other times it gets really fast. And um, like this advice by playing something you like, whatever. I think it's a good advice, especially before concerts. But um, I uh, tend to, um, as you said, if you're really cold, for instance, before practicing, I try to warm up a little bit before sitting down on the instrument. I, th uh, I think it's uh, not very smart to sit down at the instrument being extremely cold and really feeling that any movement is, is bad. That's not a good idea. So I got this advice from lots of physiotherapists and so on that you should kind of stretch or whatever uh, and move use your whole body. Quite many, too many think that this only this area which should be warm, but it should maybe be, be the whole system and the, the psychological side. So uh, this is, as, uh, I think it's a very personal question and you, uh, any, all of you have to find your way of doing it. And now I talk about actually both the practicing and the concert warming up and I think for some people, this might be the same. Uh, as I'm sure you, we have we have all been playing with um, chamber music with lots of different fantastic artists, and they all have different uh, attitudes, so to say, different habits. Except for violinist, who always has to practice <laughs> right before coming on stage. Yes, uh, like panic. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it seems like uh, uh, there are really so many how do you say, way to roam, uh, roads to roam. Um, some of these people, they really do exactly the same every time. And that's good for them. Uh, for me, that would not have been a good solution because I think, to, m to me, my mood and so on is kind of influencing the way I should do it. But uh, in, in, at your age, I used kind of different systems. I used like Hanon, different, uh, quite kind of simple, really simple practices to just to get this concentrated uh, and use not so long time on it maybe. As you say, first time is, uh, is a potentially good time for the... If there was one, one uh, warm-up uh, exercise that I actually do even today when I'm disciplined enough, <laughs> it's the first list exercise. Um, in the list exercises. And I do it, uh, I just put my hands like this <coughs> and I play these without, completely without tense tension anywhere and without uh, having the finger leaving the keyboard. Just having like, like the keyboard is playing my thumb. I'm not playing it. And I do that. I find that after that, I feel my I have bought new hands somehow. But again, that is personal. But it's really great because you feel you feel almost like the the piano is you are not playing the piano. The play the piano is almost playing you and and. Uh, that's the, I think it's the first. Uh, it's actually very interesting because uh, so when I'm disciplined, I use <laughs> something which is kind of similar, which is this. Uh, which is a kind of a extremely simple practice, which we do 
This is, comes from a Norwegian pianist who died very young, and therefore he is a hero. He is a hero. Um, um, it's, it's, it's really to get this contact with every finger to develop the independence, of course, and uh, to get uh, a, a tone uh, with an absolute minimum of, of uh, effort. So, uh, um, and after that, I can kind of start. And uh, of course, this uh, repeating with the same finger, I think, is also a very good idea. Uh, very many people practice like a uh, very much, but we don't concentrate so much on, on really getting each finger alive, so to say. Mm -hmm.